What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Huge thanks for the continued support. It has been immense lately. So kudos to all you guys for checking out the channel and giving me some tips, recommendations and suggestions for new videos. I hope you guys are well, wherever and whatever you are doing while watching this video. I hope you guys are well. So we're going to get into this video now, which is basically going to be taking a look at one of the most, I think, underutilized parts of Dream Team so far. And this is something that a lot of my club veterans and guys that have played PEZ throughout the years for years will know about you know it's having certain players that have certain abilities that can come on that can make a huge difference to your squad right if people are looking to get tips and tricks and how to get the edge online to give you know give your give yourself the best advantage to be able to compete and dominate online off the pitch right you need to have your team set up right you need to have all your manager stuff we've covered form we've covered player form arrows we've covered you know whether a player has good form or bad form or how you predict that We've covered, you know, linking up your manager with your players and your play style and your squad and setting advanced tactics and defensive and uh, offensive tactics and sub tactics and all that sort of stuff, right? What I haven't covered yet and what I'm going to cover in this video, I think is massively important to eFootball. And that is players with the super sub play style, right? Or the player card. It's a special trait that they have. The same way as some defenders might have interception, some players have a super sub player skill that when they come on off the bench at certain periods throughout the game, they will get a boost to their overall abilities, basically, right? So we're going to be taking a look at super subs that have really good stats. You want a mixture of speed coming on off the bench in 70 minutes. You want speed and you want super sub, right? So these are the best, starting with the budget option right here, which is Raman, right? 9,800 GP. As I said, if you are focusing on getting a super sub, you want to have a mixture of speed, you definitely want to have him as a super sub, and you also want him to be a fairly good player in his position. He doesn't have to be the best player with the best stats, but having that super sub and having that high speed that you can come in and give a massive boost off the bench is huge. Raman and Burke both are 9,800, and they both fit that bill. Burke will obviously fit in with a younger squad, 24 years and under, with a manager. He's also got long range shooting, 82 speed, 81 acceleration. Both check all boxes here for what you want in a super sub. So if you're in the 88 minute and you're down 2-1 and you want a fresh injection of pace, Burke coming on is going to give you a huge injection of pace and a huge injection to his, his abilities that will be able to make a difference for you. Next up, we've got this guy, Anya Kuro. 13,000 GP, he's 24 and under as well, so he fits in with a young manager, and again, we're looking at the stats, as I mentioned again, he's got super sub, he's got 81 speed, 83 acceleration, 73 dribbling, he's going to be an impact player, so he's a huge, huge impact player for 13,000 GP. Next up, we have uh, Atal. Now, this guy is actually a right back, and he gets on simply because you want to get to shore up your defense. You you know, your right back and your left back, depending on how your play style is, you are going to be bombing up and down the right or left flank. Sometimes your players might need a little bit of a break. This guy can play anywhere on the right flank or on the left flank, and he is a beast for 14K. Dan James, right? Obviously, plays for Leeds. Really, really fast. One of the fastest players in the game. His base level card, 86 acceleration. He's not going to get out sprinted to anything, pretty much. He's also got 75 stamina. He can play all down the left side or the right side. And he has got super sub as well. He's a brilliant impact player. Huge thanks to a few boys that gave me the suggestion on him. And this guy, Tete. So I've seen a couple of guys on Twitter talking about this guy. I tried him out. He's actually in my second squad now. 26,000 GP. You know, that is a massive, massive price if you look at his stats. Again, he's got super sub as well as a load of other uh, options as well there in his player skills, and he fits the bill. Nunez, I don't need to say much about him. He goes hand in hand. Every time I put up about Nupes, Nunez, I have to put up about Daka. So Daka's coming up in a second. Both are 29,000 GP. One is a little faster. Daka is obviously the speedier option. Nunez is obviously the OP so score from anywhere, kind of mini Lewandowski option. There you can see with Daka, his his uh, his super sub is obviously activated. He's obviously got speed 84 and 82 acceleration, 80 jumping as well as a goal poacher. Both of them you can't go wrong. If you've got 30,000 GP and only 30,000 GP, you will not get a better player for the price. They are both absolute bargains. Next up, we have got a little bit more money to be spent here on Rodrigo. So Rodrigo hasn't really featured in any of the videos I've done before for best players per position. But if you look at his actual player skills with the super sub, the true passing, first time shot, couple that up with his age, his price and his speed and his dribbling and his ball control, he is an absolute beast. 
Similarly, we've got Coleman. So obviously this guy plays for Bayern Munich. He doesn't need an introduction. He's an absolute tank of a player. I know a lot of the streamers and guys really, really like him because of his dribbling and his acceleration and speed. We like to look for that holy trinity of those three stats for wingers that are all around the same. You know what I mean? He's also got super sub. I highly recommend him. We'll be taking a closer look at the rest of the lads in a minute. Muriel. So this guy is... A Pez legend back in the day. I remember having him in Pez 15, I think, and he was an absolute unit. He's not as fast, he's not as good, he's not as high rated as he was, but he's also not as expensive as you would imagine he would be a couple of years back. 170,000 GP, super sub for a player that age is really, really good. And then we have Kisa. So 260,000 GP. He's got unwavering form as well, which means that his form arrow will link up with that. I mean, if you have the luxury of having a god squad and being able to bring on Kisa as you're like in the 78th minute, man, like you are going to be dominating those last 20 minutes of the game. And of course, we have the creme de la crop, Haaland. This guy is an absolute unit. He is slightly let down by his balance, of course, with 50, but he's a super sub. And again, if you're being able to bring on Haaland as a super sub, you have no fears in your squad. So this is for the upper echelon of Dream Team player and the Monty Burns is with all the GP, the, the Dream Team millionaires. Now, we're going to take a quick look here at a couple of stats, right? On eFootballDB.com, link in the description below as usual. We're going to take a look. And this is what I'm always talking about, right? So we've got our budget options at the start. But if you're comparing the three guys here, you've got Muriel, Kiesa, and Haaland. Muriel and Haaland are both center forwards. We're going to take a look at their stats, right? The three of these guys have got super sub, right? So when you bring them on, they're going to get that boost. They're going to get that injection of, you know, pace and power, and they're going to have that impact. They're an impact sub that's coming on. Think Teddy Sheringham back in 99 with Manchester United or Ole Gunnar Solskjaer back in 99 for the treble. They're going to get that boost, that super sub boost, right? If we're just playing around here with a couple of bits and pieces, depending on how you guys train these players up, Having a super sub that is fast and that is mobile and that is effective that you can bring on, they can be hugely impactful, right? Because you're thinking about it. You're playing, you know, 70, 75 minutes. You might be in a tough game and then you're able to bring on somebody that's going to have a massive impact on your team. If you can bring on multiple super subs, it's going to lift the entire team. You're going to get a massive boost and you'll feel that as well. Even if it's a placebo effect that you'll think, right, I can make a difference here with any of these, any of these lads. So... That is it, lads. A short enough video. Uh, let me know if it helps you out any more. As I said before, super sub, you know, speed, dribbling, whatever position that they want to be in, it makes a huge difference to have a super sub. I think these are the best super subs and the most OP super subs. There are more in the game. You can check them out on eFootballDB as well as check them out individually in the game. But that is it for me. I'll be back with a couple of videos quite soon. In the meantime, hope you're enjoying the channel. Peace.